Hola a todos, yo soy Jaime Castro and today I will present a work that I'm co-supervising and the aim is to detect transcription factor binding partners using non-negative matrix factorization. As we know, transcription factors are the main drivers of transcriptional regulation and they bind on cis-regulatory elements such as promoters or enhancers. But transcription factors rarely act alone, so they need other transcription factors to activate or repress gene expression. And these combinations of transcription factors is what we call motif or TF grammar. And this motif grammar also includes different orientations and spacing between pairs of transcription factors. So we develop a pipeline called Cobind, and the aim of this pipeline is to detect cobinding events using, as reference, one set of transcription factor binding sites for the same TF. So this set of binding sites we will call, we will refer to as the anchor or reference. And for each of these binding sites, we extend the, sequ the sequences to obtain the, the flanks, left and right. And these flanks are converted to one whole encoding representation. So we can cluster these representations and obtain these patterns. And then we, we can measure the distance of this pattern relative to the anchor. But to make this in an automatic way, we use non-negative matrix factorization. So this is a dimensionality reduction method where, where thousands of sequences can be reduced to K clusters. And each of these clusters can be represented as a motif. So we, then we filter these motifs that, that represent the potential co-binders and we keep only the relevant positions. And then we can cal calculate the spacer between these potential co-binders and the anchor motif. So we apply this method to many binding sites from Uni Unibind, a, binding site, uh, a database containing binding sites with computational and experimental evidences. So here is one example. The anchor, the reference is GATA1. So these are the binding sites. And these are the recurrent patterns that correspond to another GATA motif. So this is a GATA dimer uh, with two different spacers. Other example here is FOXA1 and the co-binding is in the, in the right flank and corresponds to the androgen receptor. So the take-home message is that we can capture co-binding events that have a, a fixed spacing. And the pipeline is still under development, but you can have a look on our repository. So the future plans is to apply the same methodology to more data sets and other species. So far, we only apply to human but we, pl we plan to make separate analysis, one for transcription factor families, to check if, if members of the same family have shared the same co-binder, and also a cross-species analysis, and see if the same TF in two different species also shares the same co-binder. So that's for all for the moment. Thanks for your attention, and I'm looking forward for your questions.